Hey y'all, Joe here with Southern Coastal Cooking. Today, I am going to cook some delicious roast. They've been marinating in a buddy of mine's beer that he makes here. It's called Hot Coffee from Lucky Town Brewery here in Jackson, Mississippi. It's an imperial oat milk stout brewed with coffee, chocolate, cinnamons, and chili peppers. This stuff is fantastic. What I've done, I've marinated the roast overnight in this hot coffee. Just seal them up in a bag with some of that hot coffee beer right there. And just let them marinate. I'm going to put like a coffee type rub on here. These are going to be absolutely wonderful. I'm going to get them out in the barrel house cooker here in a minute, y'all. Y'all just check this out. I'm going to open them up here, drain them off, pat them dry, and then we'll get a rub on them. Alright, y'all. Rub wise, I'm going with Tango Joe's Midnight Espresso. And y'all, these smell wonderful. You smell like coffee and everything. And of course, some of Jones and Q's love rub. Put a little bit of that on there first. Give them a little bit of garlic, a little salt, pepper, stuff like that. And then we'll hit it with this, uh, with the uh, Tango Joe's. Excellent rub here. I love that it. it has a little bit of espresso going with this espresso with a beer with a, with a little bit of coffee in it, you know. I'm telling you what, that's a wonderful brew. The beer is. Okay. So, I'm really saying she wants to come apart now. Look at that there. A little more up here. Back down some A little bit more than midnight espresso. Alright. That should be pretty good. I don't have too much heavy seasoning on these. Um, let me get some of these hooks, y'all. Hook them up. And, uh, I don't know all about these. Just take this hook here and put it, and put it right here on this one. Big piece of fat right behind it. If y'all can see that or not. You know what? I guess that'll be all right. I don't want that piece to fall out of the mix. And there, that one will go right just like that. And on this one. Put it somewhere in there like that here. There we go. That'll be good. I may put two hooks on this one since it, uh, it's got this piece like wanting to fall down down here. Put that like that. Here we go. Now I'm gonna get a Thermoworks probe. We'll put in there. All right, y'all. So I got my barrel house cooker out here working. I got some coals down there. I'm gonna put a little bit of this wood. Just about three little chunks of hickory here in this bad boy, and that's going to. That's what's going to give us flavor for our smoke. So I'm going to put this back on here. I'm going to show you what i got going on down in here. Let's see. Hopefully. Y'all may need to be a little bit higher. Hold on. What I've got down in here, I don't if you don't guess you can see, I've got a little small water paint. And I've got a salt block way down there in the bottom. Just to kind of buffer some of the heat because I don't want to get such a hot. Alright y'all, so we're going to go ahead and hang these bad boys in there. Show you how we do this. Hang this one with temp pro first. Just hang it right here. Alright, now I have some more for my temp probe to come out. Let's see that right here. Okay. And then there's this other bad boy on in here. Something there somewhere. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna close her down and uh y'all this should be really, really good. Sure. Let me move this to the other side. We'll get a 
fairly where they're going to be in about the same heat. There we go. And uh, let's close the lid on this and let them smoke away. All right, y'all, so they've been cooking for about 30 minutes now. Now I'm going to hook up the Thermoworks smoke to that one so we can get a good temperature reading on them. Let's see what we got here. Um, what we'll do is, uh, let's see, turn this on. One second. Oh, back here. And this will tell us what the temperature is inside the, inside the cooker there. Or in, inside the, uh, the chuck roast. 82, 83 degrees right now. So what I want to do, I want to set my alarm for 165 or so. Yeah, about 160. We'll set that right there. All right, and we'll just let that roll. All right, y'all. So they've been on here a couple hours or so. Uh, they're at 150 now. I think that's going to be good enough to go ahead and wrap them and. Uh, you know, just let it, let it go. Just take a look. Oh my gosh, y'all! They look absolutely amazing. I can get a pick of that. I mean, that's beautiful right there. Just hanging there on the stake. Got some good color to them. Let's see. Look at that, would you? I mean, that's beautiful. So I snapped a couple photos of that, and uh, we're gonna just get them out here. Put them on the cookie sheet and let it and wrap them. We'll put them back in there. All right. So they've gotten the smoke they need. Really. Good. Oh, forget about it. You got your temp probe in there. You got to pull that out. Every time you get your, your meat out. Oh man, that stuff is already going to come apart. Pull the temp probe out here real quick. Get this other one. Go ahead and go inside and get these dudes wrapped. Oh man. Alright. Well, Charles, I get them wrapped up. Thermometer back in. We'll close it up and let them go to almost about 200 degrees. That'll be real good. Alright, well, I got my smoke uh, alarm going off here. The smoke, you know, the smoke is uh, it's just letting us know that we've hit 200 degrees. That's where we we're wanting to be. And we're going to go ahead and take these off, y'all. Look at that. Oh, yeah. They're going to be tender for sure. All right, y'all got me a glass of the hot coffee pull, uh, poured up here. We'll have it with the uh, with the roast. But let's give the roast a try. Let's see what we're working with here, y'all. Look at this. And, uh, look at that juice. Look at that. I'm telling you what, what I want to do is just get in here and see. We've stopped at 200 degrees, remember, on the uh, Thermoworks smoke. And what we can do is uh, I'm going to put some links in the description box. You all can get that Thermoworks smoke and some other Thermoworks stuff. But look at that smoke ring, y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let me give this a try. I know I'm gonna bust this up and uh, make some uh, burn ends out of it too. But uh, let's see what this is all about, y'all. Mmm. Mm. No, that is some excellent, excellent pit beef right there. I'm gonna let it cool. Later on, I'm gonna slice it up. We'll have to make sandwiches and stuff out of it. Take that juice and reserve. I'll go ahead and taste the, uh, oh man, hot coffee by Lucky Town. Oh man, this stuff's good. Mmm, excellent. Mmm, that coffee just comes right through there. Really good on that roast, too, y'all. So, anyway, I just let you know, man, that amazing stuff. Oh, oh, one thing I think would make it even better. Where is it? I know. I've got some left. Oh yeah. Some of this. You know you want it. Barbecue sauce. Oh my gosh. This stuff is so good. What I'm gonna do is spoon just a little bit onto that piece that we got left over right there. 
and get this thing to open. It's sealed up there. So I'm going to take a spoon and spoon a little bit of this. You know you want it right there on that little piece. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the piece to have right there. Come on. Come on out of here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Excellent right here. Mm -mm. Y'all, uh, thank y'all so much for watching. God bless y'all. Y'all, please uh, sub my channel, like my videos, all that good stuff. Check in the description box for everything, even at Big Free Cups. Oh, yeah. But anyway, uh, that's some good stuff, y'all. We'll see y'all later. God bless y'all. Have a good one.